Hi, you guys. It's T.A. Megan, and we're going to read a classic book today. It's The Night Before Christmas. And, of course, it was written by Clemens C. Moore in 1822, a long time ago. But in this version, the artwork is done by Christian Birmingham. was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Oh yeah, that house looks dark and it looks like everybody's cozied in, doesn't it? It looks too cold to be outside. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care and hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. You see their stockings? Right there. See them? I like how none of them match. Because that means different peoples, right? The children were all nestled, all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for our long winter's nap. There's the children are sweeping. There's a pile of books. Maybe somebody was reading a book before bed. I know I do. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. He's, he's popping out of bed, getting his candlestick ready to go see what was going on. Away to the window, I flew like a flash. I tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to the objects below. Wow, the moon's so bright that everything looks like it's day. Have you ever seen when the moon's that bright? It's pretty cool. When what to my wonder should appear but a miniature sleigh and a, a tiny reindeer. You see it? This book is big. There's that miniature sleigh and the big tiny reindeer and the snowman's looking. But what is that? With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. There's the reindeer. You see Santa? More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came. He whistled, <whistles> shouted, hey, and called them my name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, and Blitzen. The famous deer. Ooh, here's a beautiful close-up of the deer. It's only showing six of them, though. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with the obstacle, mount to the sky. So that's a fancy way that they could make their way around weather vanes and rooftops and chimneys and trees. They knew what to do with a lot of ease. <laughs> so up on the housetop, the coursers they flew with 
a sleigh full of toys in St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof as I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. Uh oh. You see the kitty looking up the fireplace like, whoa, oh, I think Santa's coming. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Well, yeah, he can't, that's hard work delivering toys around the whole world. Especially because you don't have to be Christian to believe in Santa. You can be anything. You can be Jewish. and You can be Muslim. You can be Somalian. Anyone can believe in Santa and have fun at Christmas. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. And he looked like a peddler just opening his sack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. Oh, he's got some nice toys to leave, doesn't he? His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. Oh, he's getting some cookies. Somebody left him cookies out. That's good. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. Oh, look at the kitties being Snoopy. What's Santa getting out for everybody? The cat wants to know. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and he filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger on the side of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Oh, that Santa, he's magic. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle. And they, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Sorry, my cat is hunting in his tree over there. Anyway. I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Do you see him up by the moon? I'm going to go in it. There we go. And that is the end. This is the last picture. The end. I hope you guys like Twas the Night Before Christmas. I think you've all heard it before. All right. Maybe I'll read another book later. I don't know. All I know is we've had a very good classroom 2020. And let's start off 2021 when we come back from our break with a great book. You guys already voted. It's going to be good. All right, see you later.